Products.com has now released a revised video on how to install the latest Black Tower ink tank system for the Epson Workforce 7610, 7620, and 7110. Now on the 7610, it only has one paper tray. But on the 7620, you have two paper trays. Okay, and sometimes on the 7110. So what we come up with is a bracket to put it on the side here, and it raises this up. There's the bracket. Now you don't have to use the bracket if you have a single tray printer like this. But I'm going to go through the whole thing with you because a couple other things I'm going to show you in the video. Okay. So now what the first thing you're going to do when you get it is balance the system and then you're going to take some alcohol and you're going to wipe that area down here with the alcohol because you want to get any type of oil from the plastic mold release off. Okay, so take your um, regular rubbing alcohol you can use and you're going to rub the side of that printer. Up to show you. See, I know it's getting low because I haven't used this printer in a long time and this ink system has been sitting in here for a long time. Actually, it didn't even have a system in it because we left it out, which is you should never do that because that will dry out your print head even more. But you can see, right here is the waste box in the back going down. We have those to replace if you need to. But you're going to get the exclamation mark. So now a lot of people say, oh, gee, I'll just reset the... The chip, because on the on our system, we have a reset button here that will reset all the ink levels at once, not one at a time. But you have to wait till you get cannot recognize. All right. So I'm going to bring it over, and it says replace the cartridges. I'm going to press that. It's going to move over. Watch. Oh, it's going to tell me to place my hands on the side, which I have to do, but actually what I'm going to do is just remove that rubber plug. Takes a second, it'll move over. Now remember, I had exclamation, not cannot recognize. You can see the hose travel is pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to go in here and squeeze this four times. One, two, three, four, because I have four colors. Now it is not going to change that ink level because it was on the exclamation. And sometimes the orange light here will flash, and people think, oh, I've got to do something. You don't do nothing. I'm going to put this back in. It's going to go check. Let it go check. Now, remember what I said. We're not, it's not going to reset the, the level. In a little bit it will, because I'm going to run some yellow, and that will cause it to do it. Go back to ink level, right back to where it was. So when you see that, pay no attention to it. Wait till you get cannot recognize. All right, now, remember what I said when you first get it and you install it, you got to rock the bottles. Now, on a single tray machine, I just put it right next to the machine. But for the purpose of the video, because I don't have a double tray out here for the video, I'm going to put the bracket on and show you. Now, if you put the bracket on, would it hurt anything? No. But you don't need to do it if you don't want to. Here's the Velcro strips. They're going to go right on the back, right here. I'm going to peel and stick them. But I'm going to wipe this area with the rubbing alcohol first. Then I'll be able to... Like I said, you could put a little box underneath it. You don't have to put a, all this other stuff if you don't want to. You can just slide a box under and stand the tank up and then put it on. Now in the kit you always get the purge tool for the cartridge and the priming tool for the printhead. Okay. I'm going to bring it over. So remember now you just have a bracket here and by the way, you can close the lid. You don't have to use the jumper. I'm only doing it so 
I can show you um, if you want to test hose travel. I'm going to slide that out. Pick that up. I'm going to take this out. There you go. I'm going to put it aside for a minute. There you go. Now I'll put the Velcro on. But first, I'm just going to put this right against, just like this, so it's against the table. And I'm going to peel and stick it right where I want to put it, like that. And then we'll put the Velcro on the ink tank, and we'll complete the, the setup. Peeled and stuck the bracket. Now, the bracket's just going to help, because over time, even with Velcro, it can peel away that tank overweight, so that just holds it. Now, see, I set it right up on the tank like that. I got the Velcro ready to stick on. I'm going to go right against the machine like that. So that holds it down there, and I got it up like that. So that's how you would install it with the double back. And when you're first putting these in, when you first get the system, you got to hear those clicks. Sometimes it, you have to take it in and out a couple of times just to hear that click. Then we can do hose travel. What I do is there's a little like alligator at the end of that. See, I slide it right in. And then I'll do, I'll make sure it's coming out. And I didn't have it right. There we go. Got to get it right. I want to have it twisted. So it looks pretty good like that. And I'll watch it run over when I put the interlock in. And then I can put it back in the clip or attach it with the clip on the side. Just set up this to put the system in. Make sure, it's very important, the big plugs are closed and the little plugs are open. Because the air needs to go into the isobaric chamber so it will feed the ink to the printhead. If you forget that, you'll starve the printhead and you'll probably have to wind up priming that printhead. Now I've got the hose coming straight across. Now, I've got that little jumper in there. I'm going to put it in. Because I want to see it with the top open. Because I want to see hose travel. I want just enough hose to go from here over. See, that might be a little bit too tight. See that? I'll let a little bit out. Okay. Now remember, I had low ink. So I'm going to probably run some yellow, just letting a little bit more out. Let's look at the ink levels again. Yep, nothing's changed. Because we haven't got, cannot recognize. Okay, everything looks good here. There again, I wanted to show you here how you install it. Flush with the edge, flush with the edge here. Right here, see? Then you go back, come over, and that's it. All right. Now dub double check that. I need to add a little bit more. Just a little at a time. Just enough. have too much out you'll hear it and it'll interfere with the printing you get paper jam okay been running a lot of yellow and a little bit of red copy there and it says cannot recognize the following cartridge proceed so here's where you can reset your colors okay open it up it's going to come over Okay, please wait. Now I reach in and I'm going to squeeze it four times. And if you look over here, one, two, three, four, and press check. All right, close it. 
Now that's what I was telling you about. Preparing the ink system, which charges the printhead up because it thinks you got all new cartridges in there. So this will take a minute or two, and then I'll show you the ink levels. Okay, now I finally got done cleaning this printhead. I'll go to ink levels, and everything's full. See, that's what's good about that COC Smart Chip. It resets all the ink levels up regardless of where they are. But the first one that says cannot be recognized, you do exactly what I just showed, and it'll go up. Now, pretty soon, the ink waste box will have to be replaced on this printer. Now, we also carry them on our website that you can reset them, use them over and over again. You don't have to keep throwing the box away. And the box looks like this. So that's an Epson one. They want you to throw it away. Now, we do have a resetter also that will reset that. And then we also carry the box. That can be reset. So go to inkproducts.com for the latest Epson products. The new install. I'll go over this again. When you have a double printer with a double tray in it, you got to raise the up. No, we give you all the parts and pieces. Simple install. One bracket here, one center bracket, that's it.